My name is Oyin Oduya. I'm the Impact Measurement and Management Practice Leader at Wellington Management. Meet the manager, scene one, take one. There are many reasons that sparked my interest in impact investing. The most fundamental one was my belief that money can do more than just make more money. I believe that attractive financial returns can go alongside investing in products and services that can help to solve the world's most challenging environmental and social problems. The role of the impact measurement and management practice is all about data. Helping our investors to find the data that shows the environmental and social impact of the investments that they're making. So for example, the amount of renewable energy produced by a utility, or the number of patients served by a hospital. Our role is to find and report that data, but also to analyse it. And that analysis can inform investment decisions, engagement with management, and ultimately help to ensure real-world positive impact. I've always been curious to understand the root causes of accepted paradigms. That curiosity led me to focus the early part of my career on economic research with a focus on Sub-Saharan Africa. I wanted to learn more about the current and historical reasons for the gap between developed and emerging market economies and what I and what the financial system more broadly could do to help to close that gap. That same curiosity has sparked a real personal passion for travel. There's nothing better than learning about a new culture, whether it be through experiencing food, music, or just learning a little bit about the way that other people live. For all of our impact investing strategies, impact measurement and management is an essential part of the investment process. So we have to establish impact criteria, which help us to understand what sorts of companies are eligible for the impact portfolio. We also have to establish a robust evidence base that links the products and services of the companies we're investing in to wider social and environmental outcomes. And lastly, we have to commit to reporting on this impact analysing the data to make sure that we really are maximising real-world positive impact. I believe that people around the world have fundamentally similar desires. The ability to live a safe, fulfilled life with access to the basics like healthcare and education, but also access to opportunity to live their life and change their lives as they see fit. I do think that impact investing can play an important role in making sure that these opportunities are available to all. Thank you. You're welcome.